Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. I am really excited because today is such a huge step to reopening the theme parks here in Central Florida. Universal Studios is opening City Walk. And if you guys don't know what City Walk is, it is basically Universal's version of Disney Springs. And Disney Springs is reopening next week, May the 20th. Like I said, I am really excited because this is the first time I'm getting somewhat of the Florida theme parks since early March when all this happened and everything closed down. How City Walk is working, it is only open from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. daily. Parking is free. You must wear a mask at all times, and you will have your temperature checked at the gate before you enter City Walk. This is a phase reopening for City Walk. With it being the first day, a lot of restaurants and stores will not be open just yet. Here is the list of stores and restaurants that will be open today. Auntie Anne's, Bubba Gump, Margaritaville outside only, Red Oven Pizza, Voodoo Donut, which I am really excited for. The Tattoo Company, retail only. They will not be tattooing anybody. And then the Universal Studios store, which I am really excited for. I just got a haircut. If you guys were wondering, my face is a little tender right now. Anyway, it's going on 3.30. Let's head to Universal and have some fun. City Walk is open. Team members have all of the resorts blocked off. And here we are heading into the parking garage. Here we are. We are in. Hello. I am so excited right now. It is a little weird though, because usually when I'm making this drive, I'm here to go inside the theme parks. Oh my, judging by the line of cars, looks like it's going to be a little bit busy. And it looks like a lot of people arrived a little bit earlier than I did. I am now putting on my mask. It is required. Ran into some friends. Ear to ear magic. Not that you can recognize this or anything. <laughs> and look at the first sight of social distancing here at Universal Studios Orlando. There's a little bit of a line to get your temperature checked. I shaved my beard. That way, my hair is no longer exposed to the air. And I also ordered a carbon filter mask but it did not arrive just yet. We are moving right along. This is where the line will begin, but then when you walk further to the temperature checkpoint, they will break you off in three different lines and they have plenty of sanitizer stations around. All right, I am about to have my temperature checked. You doing all right? Thank you for working. Thank you, take care. Here we are, thank you. We're in, we made it. <laughs> we already see the team members cleaning. Universal has it really organized. It's so good to be back here. Going through bag check, your temperature check. Thank you guys for working. All the team members are very friendly. They are all wearing masks, but very smooth process. It took maybe three seconds for me to have my temperature checked. The line moved quickly, bag check moved quickly. I was just telling my friends back there, it feels so unreal that I'm back here at Universal, kind of back in my element. This is a long time coming and it's a huge step for the new normal. I believe this mini golf course is open. That looks like fun. Ooh, I hear music. <laughs> Zachy, high five! Yeah! <laughs> Bubba Gump is open for business. I love this. What a warm welcome. They do have signs all over the place reminding people to keep social distancing. Thank you guys for being here. The big one today, the Universal Studios store is open for business. Let's head in and see if we can get some Universal magic from inside the theme parks. Oh, it is so good to be back inside a theme park store. 
I think this will be the closest we're gonna be to getting inside. How you feeling about the mask? Are you extra hot? Cause I know us guys run hot anyway. Just one second. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> they are selling Universal Studios hand sanitizer for $3. That's good to know. And they are selling wet ones. And they are also selling face coverings. One for $6 or three for 15, but they are not themed. I was really hoping for some Harry Potter themed mask or some minions or Spider-Man. Ooh, they have chocolate frogs. I may have to take one home. Now that was cool. Just being able to be back inside a store here in City Walk, getting to hear the music that they play inside the parks. They have hand sanitizer, face coverings. Universal is pretty prepared for all of this. These are my best dance moves. <laughs> Some of the smaller kiosks are not open just yet. There are a ton of news helicopters up in the air. It is so beautiful this evening. It kinda just seems like a dream. Hopefully, very soon, these ticket windows We'll be back open for business and we'll be heading back inside Islands of Adventure. Let's go see what we can see here from the front gate. I did not think that Universal would have opened the entire city walk to the public, but they did. It's just really nice to be able to walk around and take it all in and kind of be inside a theme park. The Chocolate Emporium is not open just yet. Or the Hard Rock is not open. There are so many helicopters going over Universal right now. We're making history. I do want to give you guys a quick update to wearing a mask. Now, right now it is 82 degrees, but we have a really nice breeze coming by. The mask is not bothering me just yet, but I feel like once it gets warmer and humid, it may be a problem. Like I told you guys earlier, I did order a carbon filter mask. If that one's better, or these medical ones better, because this is pretty light and thin, but Again, I just kind of have to see how it is on a hotter day. I do also want to talk about how everybody is keeping a really good social distancing. I haven't seen any sort of issues or problems. The staff, Universal, the team members, they are very prepared. They have a really good system going right now. And everybody kind of just knows to stay away from everybody else. So, so far, I have not seen one issue. And I also hope you guys can hear me because of the mask and the wind. It seems to be all right, but just so you guys know. <laughs> I think this will be the closest we'll be able to get to a roller coaster here at Universal today. They do have the Universal Studios side completely blocked off. This is the closest I'll be able to get today. Looks like they are doing some construction right over here. So that may be why. So close, but yet so far. Here is a little bit of a closer look to that construction I was talking about earlier. The question I have for you guys today, number one, when do you think Universal Studios Orlando will reopen? My guess, the end of June, at least one park. I just really see them opening before Disney. And the second question, do you guys think Halloween Horror Nights will happen this year? I really hope so. 
but we just don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Auntie Anne's is open. The line is not that bad. Again, I love the ground markers they have. That way everybody keeps their social distancing. I am now right in front of Voodoo Donut. There is a extremely long line to get inside, but you can mobile order and pick it up right here. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. You can mobile order your donuts from the Universal Studios app. It's going on 5.30 p.m. I've been here for about an hour and a half and the mask is starting to bother me a little bit. I'm starting to sweat and get hot. So it did take a little bit of time for some discomfort. You can get your hair braided and you can get your face painted. Coming up the stairs because the tattoo shop is open. Very quiet up here. And here we are. Let's go check it out. Hello. The retail store is open, but you cannot get a tattoo just yet. We are still waiting on the state to allow tattoos because I really need a new tattoo. The food court is not open just yet. It looks like the crowd is dying down just a little bit. There is a little bit of a line to get inside Bubba Gump. Uh, we also have the red oven pizza bakery right over there and the Universal Studios store as well as the movie theater here inside City Walk is not open either. And you can mini golf. It is open. I just wonder how they are limiting people. I think eventually I want to do this, just not today. Pat O'Brien's is not open just yet, but they are prepared. They already have their ground markers all ready to go. And I highly recommend this place, especially if you want a good cocktail. I was really hoping for Fat Tuesday to be open. I had to go use the bathroom really quick and I just was wondering because I went to the mall this last weekend and as I mentioned, they had the restrooms. Every other stall was blocked off and every other sink. But at this restroom, it is not blocked off. So that is a little bit concerning for me. I am now waiting to enter the Margaritaville store. Every store that is open has a hand sanitizer station and they want you to get some hand sanitizer before coming in to shop. I want all of these signs so bad. I love them all. Margaritaville is also selling face coverings and hand sanitizer. Almost two hours later, our reservation to go have a drink in Margaritaville has been called. This should be interesting. We got our table. We are right here at the end, but I like how this restaurant spreaded out the tables so nobody is close to one another. Since we are eating, we can now remove whoo, our face mask. Oh, it feels so good. That was hard wearing this in the heat. We were told to leave a space right here for our server and he just dropped off the silverware, bags for a mask, and throwaway menus. I got me a blackberry margarita. Mm. Really good, really strong. My mask is back on my face. When you leave the restaurant, you do have to put the mask back on. However, I am seeing a few people not wearing masks. And I talked with a few friends that are team members that are currently working and team members that are not managers cannot say put on your mask. Only the managers can say you have to put on a mask or you have to leave. When I was sitting down having my drink, I went ahead and ordered Voodoo Donuts on the Universal app. It took about four minutes to be exact and my donuts are ready to be picked up and then I'm heading home because there's not a lot to do down here right now for it being opening day. It was nice just walking around, seeing other people, other friends, and being back in a theme park setting. But wearing a mask for a long time, it's not my favorite thing to do. Thank you so much. All right, take care of yourself. Thank you for being open. Oh yes, I got the goodness. Look at the Mardi Gras bee tree. All the beads from this year are still hanging. I just made it back to the car. I feel like this first phased reopening of the major theme parks here in Central Florida, I think it went really 
Well, I think based on what I witnessed today, the entire staff of Universal Studios Orlando was very prepared for everything. I think it went extremely smooth. I feel like everybody listened and followed all of the rules that was inputted here at CityWalk. Everybody around me kept their distance. I kept my distance. It was really good to see some friends and some other YouTube creators, but I feel like you do have to pick and choose who you are around. Like you have to trust the people you are around because you don't wanna get sick, you don't wanna be put in danger, nor do you want to get them sick. I'm very happy with everything regarding City Walk reopening today. It's a huge step, and I think next week when Disney Springs reopens, it is also going to be a big step. I do think when Disney Springs reopens next week, it will bring a bigger crowd to Disney Springs. Everything went very smooth, very good. I felt safe. However, I hated wearing a mask. You know, it was okay for the first hour, and then after that hour, I got real hot, I started to sweat, it was a little hard to breathe. I don't know, but I'm gonna have to suck it up and wear a mask if I wanna be out in public and be back to the theme parks. Really quick, I wanna say thank you to each and every team member for working. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new here because we do this quite often. Make sure you are following me along on Instagram and check out all my links down below. And make sure you have those notifications turned on to always. That way you will always be notified when I upload a brand new video or even go live. I got my Voodoo Donuts right here. I'm going to buckle them in. <laughs> and get these home for Bianca and for myself to uh, indulge. Seriously, thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next video. Prince Charming. I am feeling lonely In a morning, and man, it's time to end the ride Fading it too slowly Where those gonna lift me up this time You were the only One who got me tripping up inside All the words you told me